well done, you play terribly well. <coughs> and some of it is, <coughs> is horribly difficult. You know, really, really very good. Uh, look, um, the, the <coughs> I, want, I want to look at all the character, or some of the character pieces. The, the opening is splendid, except you have a misread at the beginning, at the end of the first line. Dum ba bum 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 ba da yum bum ba. Yeah? Can you play it again? That's it. Yeah, and here as well. Yeah? It's really important. Don't stop. Okay? Good. <coughs> We haven't time, and I'm not sure I'm capable of, of talking about Piero. It's a, it's a big subject, uh, who this character is, and he changes between countries and but, uh, the centuries. The centuries, yeah? But with you, I don't, find, I don't find him quiet enough, and I don't find him funny enough. You play it so it's rather ordinary. I just hear a lot of quarter notes, yeah? You've got to find a sound which somehow sees him walking around like this, perhaps falling over his shoes or something, you know? But he's a, he's, it's clearly a, a, a comic piece for Schumann. Bam, bam, bam. Have you ever heard of pianissimo? <laughs> yes, you never play pianissimo, you know? You, you always sound so healthy. Uh, you, you've really got to find... <laughs> Try. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. They've all got to be the same. You need the same attack on every note. in love with Columbine, you know? She thinks he's a joke. She just has no time for him at all. But he's in love with Columbine, you know? And so make us feel touched by him, you know? Oh, he's a sad character. Oh, Columbine. <laughs> It ends quickly in silence. Yeah, yeah, better. Um, I think you should do what Schumann writes there. The pedal comes off later. You, you change it here. Try doing it later. Yeah. It's a funny one. His, pe his piano, of course, was different from us. I don't do it so loud. <laughs> okay, yeah? 
try, try to experiment with that. It's worth it. Um, but as I say, his instrument was different from ours. Now look, your rhythm's wrong here. You're playing in a chakatura. It isn't, it's here. Yeah. I know it's funny, but he's used a lot of ink. He's he's uh, he's spent a lot of time writing that. Yeah, the you understand? Just there. Yeah, it would have been very easy just to write and a chakatura, but it isn't. It's yeah. Now Alicorn is very is very very light. Um, you're too heavy. And she's very, there's a sort of elegance about Arlika. You know, you, you, uh, quite often your left hand is too loud. Yeah, pa. <laughs> Even that's too heavy. Da. And then here. <laughs> Uh, keep the left hand down. I do that. I've, I've scrubbed it out, yeah? I, I'm hearing. Yeah, we don't want that at all. a bit more imagination for colour there, yeah? It was a bit ordinary. Uh... Yeah? Try. It's hard, this one. I, I, I had to practice it a lot, I remember. And if you start missing the notes, you feel such an idiot. No, da 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 b. No, think. Just think two eighth note. That's what he's written. You see, an eighth, and then it's that last one which is short. So he's writing an articulation. Yes. No. No, tadam bam. Just forget what he's written. Just play two quavers, two two eighths. Dadam. Oh. No, tadam, bottom. Bye. him very carefully. Uh, Schumann often doesn't write what you expect and it's important but he writes what he means and you can hear a lot of people changing dynamics because they think it's more musical. At the end of David's Bundler the first line is a good one they'll get that wrong. He writes very very clearly what he wants um, and it isn't what you expect so you have to be read him uh, again and again and again. This is pianissimo, and that's forte for the whole line. Okay? Um, uh, think about that, Durham B, yeah? You'll see that one, two, three, four, one. It's not the other way around. One, two, D, yeah? Durham B, yeah. And it's, it, it's not as hard as it looks. You just think eighth note. <laughs> Yeah, 
it's simpler than, than you're making it. But a lot of people do get that one wrong. Can you play this? I've forgotten. Okay, yeah. Can you be more legato in the right hand and get a long line, yeah? Um, and in the left, stay, sorry, stay a bit closer to the keys. It's going to be a bit... Uh, you could do with a more tenuto sound. This is, isn't a very good sound. Just more legato, yeah? And, and t be careful that it isn't too... Ch ta, ta. Yeah, it really kills carnival, you know, there's too much of that. And so on. Ta, ta, yeah. notices and here when you come here So you wrote it yourself, yeah? But keep singing the top, top line. Sort of what J mean? Schumann, it, Schumann sees himself, he, he, I think he quite liked the idea of being schizophrenic. Uh, Eusebius is the, the, the person who can't talk, he can't express what he feels. He, he's, he's the sort of person who sits in a corner and just thinks and dreams, yeah? And but, but he doesn't really speak, unlike his other half, uh, uh, Floriston, who can't stop speaking and, and who is all physical energy and, and wild and, and, and so on. You say business is like this. He would like to be somebody else, but he can't. And he's very shy. Yeah? 
And he just sits and dreams and cries and, and you know, that. you're far too loud. He sounds as though he never stops talking with you. <laughs> no, it's Lord, 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 and it's a dadjo. It's about the only slow piece in Carnival, yeah? So go on, both pedals. But no, 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 you can't play Eusebius without the left pedal. You need every bit of help you can get. That's good, that's good, that's good. Quieter. Now he tries to speak. Only piano. This is piano, yeah. So keep it, keep, keep the sound up more. That's it. That's getting there. Yeah? Um, can I just have a, um, concentrate more when you play? Yeah? You have to really concentrate. You can't just play. It won't work. You need to be uh, close to the keys and really very active fingers. <laughs> and so on, yeah? But you need to concentrate. Now look, when you come to hit the 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 floriston, uh, I can't hear enough of your notes. It must be very articulated, yeah. And if you can't, it's better to play slower. But. Uh, Practice your left hand a lot. Uh, it's bloody hard, this one. Yeah, but... I can't remember it. And you've got to get the crescendo. La, da, da, da. That's better. Yeah. I wouldn't play faster than that. I don't think we can hear. Uh, if it just um, yeah, run, if it just sounds like fast notes, you know, you don't get the melodic thing, which you've got to hear in car. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so uh, that's um, 
uh, let's have it from here. Uh, when you come to the adagio, can you make it sound like a memory of something? Yeah, it's a long way away. It comes from Papillon, Opus Two. Yeah, um, and now a lot of the people don't know that, so you've got to give them uh, the impression of a memory in the distance that you can hardly hear. Yeah, it's quite hard to do, but uh, go on, have a go. <laughs> a bit more. Good. Uh, that's hard, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I used to mess it up terribly. Um, uh, 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 but you do have to just practice it. Uh, try to make... Uh, don't get hysterical, yeah? Don't get too fast. And try to turn it into a better waltz. And then, when it comes here, then go wild. But notice that he doesn't write a cellarando until the second line. Yeah? So it's passionate and intense, yes, but try not to let it get too fast. It's one of the big problems with Carnival. You play too fast. I play too fast. They play too fast, yeah? If you're not careful, Carnival can turn into a rather empty showpiece. You know, and, and it's, it, it doesn't sound as though it's written by Schumann at all. Yeah? This is German romantic music. You know, it's moving. It's, you know, it has, it has a lot of this in it. You're not just running over the keys. Yeah? So be careful. Um, we're going to have to stop. Uh, you're a bit loud for a pianissimo, and this is coquette. You make her sound like a thundering English rose. Uh, uh, you know, she, very fat and with big shoes on. Uh, keep it That's it. Because I think you ought to use more left pedal. Yeah, I think that uh, that you need the colour of the left pedal. Yeah, it's too bright. That it's too <coughs> it's too noisy and bright. Yeah, da, da, da. she's just very, 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 very light and elegant. have to stop. <coughs> um, <coughs> I think your Chiarina is too fast. Um, but, um, da -da. This is Clara, you know, who you, he eventually married. You make her sound a little bit <laughs> like that. She's nicer than that. Yeah, try just the beginning. Make sure that your dotted rhythm isn't too severe.
anything like that, yeah? Uh, not too... And here as well... Oh. to espressivo something like that this is jolly good you're too loud here This is a conversation between him and her. She starts. Yeah, she says, and he says, oh, I agree with you, I agree. I think you're marvelous. Uh, yeah, and finally, finally, they say it together, uh, wherever it is, wherever it is. Uh, um, uh, yeah, special moment in Carnival. Don't play your vals, Salomon. There, <laughs> you're not. It could sound better here, more interesting. And it's pianissimo. Oh my God. Jolly good Paganini. Well done. Quiet. Yeah. And the promenade could. Um, be a bit more elegant and so on. Uh, look, uh, last thing, the March of the Davids Wimblers. What does he write at the beginning? Yeah. Non allegro. Oh, oh she says. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he can't do any more than that, you know. Not fast. And you, you know, you're, you're running from bar one, so really... Yeah? Make it final. Yeah? It's the end of the show, it's the end of this, this, the most extrovert work he ever wrote, yeah? So, Really slow. Um, don't get too fast. It's lovely music. We have to stop.
Good, good. It's very musical playing. Um, and uh, But there are a few things. It's a very strange work, the Opus 26. It seems to be very exper experimental. Every movement's in A-flat. Hello. <laughs> in case he doesn't understand. Oh, he, right, OK. Well, tell him he's very good, and, and, yes, and, and, and it's, it's fine. I think it's a little bit too fast. It's a little, just a little bit. <clears throat> so that it, 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 when you come into these, it starts to sound allegro. You know? It starts to just move a little bit too fast. Um, and if I don't mention it again, you must always, always, always go on. La da 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 dee da. One, two, three, one. Yeah? It's classical variation form. It must not stop. It must not separate into little bits. Yeah? Okay, always. It's one movement, one work. Yeah? Let's try again. this figure every time um, and each time you don't play it clearly <laughs> never yep ta -dum, ta -dum. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Yes. Always. Never. Better. Difficult to talk about, but what does crescendo mean? Yeah, g a growing. It grows, and and it's really very important in music like this. All the time, we've got these crescendos and a subito piano. Crescendo, subito piano. Crescendo, subito piano. Crescendo, subito piano. He can't stop. He does it all the time. And they all need practicing. <coughs> Your crescendos are often a, a bit rough. Ta It must be one lie. Difficult. Right.
trying to get all the notes. Okay, from here. Yeah, be careful that you, you read him very carefully. There's an accent on there. No. This is an accent, and that's an accent, but there isn't one there. And so you must not put one, okay? No accent, does that a theme? And again, continue, continue, continue. And piano all the way through this. Dum bum 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 bum. Good. Okay, so that I think is the most important thing to say there. Yeah, it was too loud uh, before. Okay. Okay. So it's a legato on one note, it's not. is a staccato.
tempo. That's it. It's almost funny, this one. Yeah, it's 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 almost funny, and and these staccatos and so on. Uh, um, can I can I? Yeah. That sort of thing. Uh, and I thought the, the fifth variation was good. Um, it could sing. You know, Beethoven's codas are often very moving when he comes to the end. He says, oh, he says I've, had such, I've had such a lovely time with you. And, and, and writing, and, and, or, or.
good, good. You're brave taking on this. Yeah. Uh, you're in the wrong place there. Play the end. No. Sorry. There. No, no, no. That's it. Yes. Uh, uh, there's another one here as well. There. Can you just play from there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now look, I think you're playing too fast. Yeah. I we can't hear enough music. I'm getting. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm, I'm not hearing clearly what matters in the beginning, and it's the first of all the rhythm. Not. Yeah? Dum ba da 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 ba da dum ba. Yeah? Yeah? Better. Yeah, better, better. It must be really clear. Dum ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da da ba. Okay, now the next thing is you must make it clear what is major and minor. So it's major, minor, major, minor. Yeah? It's a fight between A major and A minor. And you must make it very clear to everybody listening. <coughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. And what, what, what finger do you, you put on it? Yeah, it's not it's not strong enough. Uh, uh, can I show you? Uh, put one five on that. Do two five and then one five, two four. And one three. That's about as strong as you can get. Yeah. Do you understand? That's good. Okay. Um, so. Allegro moderato. Yeah, this is what he writes. So it's, he's telling you, be careful that it isn't too fast. Yeah? Everything must be clear, clear, clear. Yeah? Try. Okay, uh, there, 
so you, uh, some of these fingers you change, yeah? For, for that, you, you'll get a stronger sound. Sorry, can I sit down? And, and there. Um, <coughs> as clear as you can. Um, yeah? Um, it's very difficult for small hand. Oh, there. I would I would do just two and three together. Mm. Yep. <coughs> it's a it's it, uh, this is is not working. Mm. And very very clear as you move into the second idea. Oh. As we come finally to uh, uh, some. Mm -hmm. very good uh, unison. Mm Try that. Yeah. I know it's a, a strange word to use about this, but you want a more intense sound at the moment. It's too pale. It's too white. Um, pa. That won't do. You can't change the pedal like that. Um, oh, 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 oh. If you don't like that pedal, I would take it with the left hand. Yeah? So you end up with that. What is written? Yeah? Okay, let's go from here. Try to do what he writes. Um, he implies that the pedal is held to there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Again, take that with the left. Too very rhythmical. No, 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 no. There's no crescendo there. The crescendo doesn't start till there. Okay? Let's go from here. Be careful. It's only mezzo forte, yeah? It's not much faster. Yeah, it I don't think it's going to work as fast as that. Pianissimo. Be careful. Mezzo forte is mezzo forte, yeah? It's not fortissimo, yeah? Be careful. You want to save the fortissimo for here, yeah? You have to be very careful in the sixth sonata, you know? It can sometimes feel as though you're being, someone's banging on your head. Yeah? And it's not. Prokofiev didn't play like that. The best people don't. It's, it, 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 it's incredibly important that you read him. Yeah? Piano, mezzo forte, mezzo forte, yeah? So that when you really do want to play fortissimo, we're tired of you. We're tired of Prokofiev, we're tired of you. You know, uh, it, 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 mustn't, it mustn't be just uh, bombs going off all the time. Okay, let's go from there. Okay, but I still find you too loud there. So that when he writes fortissimo there, I think it's not going to, to be very different. Yeah? Can you be careful of that, yeah? That you, you read what he writes. Um, okay, um, let's go from the, the fortissimo. 
got to make that melodic line clear. Da, da, di, da, da. Yeah? Is that a G flat? No, F flat. E flat, yeah. Um, bum, bum, yeah? No. E. Again, you see, he writes these lines, the C sharp goes to E natural, goes to E flat. Okay? So all of that needs to be very clear. Yeah? Again, do what he writes, that's fortissimo, and then he writes forte, yeah? That's quieter than fortissimo, yeah? Okay? And it's, it's not really clear enough. Yeah? So it's, it's too heavy. Uh, try from there. You're now too quiet for once. <laughs> uh, this really has, you have to keep up this martellato sound. Must be very clear. Okay? That forte there. Be careful that you don't run in this passage. You must keep this one, two, three, bam, beam, bam, 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 ba da da da. There's a, it sort of gets tired, yeah, in this passage. So be, be careful that you don't uh, run, yeah? You must keep very, very strictly, yeah? If I just write tempo there, you know. Okay. Uh, that's basically everything. Yeah? Read what he writes. That's the best that's the best advice I can give you. And forte is quieter than fortissimo. I know it sounds obvious, but be careful, yeah? And <coughs> and you know, as I said at the beginning, uh, th that fingering I gave you is good, uh, but you can use it. Uh, uh, good. We must hear very, very, very clearly all these these harmonies: major, minor. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> 
uh, and really precise rhythmically. As I say, I think you're very brave. <laughs> I do. I think, I think you're very brave. I think it's a big, nasty number six.
you play it very well, particularly all the big stuff. So look, what I've just got a, a, a few ideas. A, at the very beginning, make that dominant and tonic very clear. Mm -hmm. It's what uh, differentiates this from his other chromatic basses. You know, he's, he, he loves these chromatic rumbles and, and all that. But, but and yeah, it should be clear. Yeah, otherwise there's no point in him writing it. it, it he wouldn't have bothered. Yeah, yeah. And you can even slow down, yeah? But I think it matters. It's almost like a sort of a tolling sound in the beta. Yeah. Your sound here isn't great. You're playing a stringed instrument, you know, with the piano. You want to be more legato, and, and don't play the key so fast. I'm, I'm hearing that. Yeah? Oh. Yeah? Be careful. You, it, don't just punch out notes. Yeah? It must... Somehow you've got to convey the great tragedy mm -hmm. of this piece in that opening. It's, it's a pretty grey day uh, with the, the, the B minor uh, ballad starts, you know, and, and it's a, a, a disaster has, has happened. Yeah, or something like that, yeah? Can you try? Just play, play with more flesh on the key and just pull it towards you. Just more finger. Yes, that's a good one. It may be original. Uh, which edition is this? Uh, yeah, yeah. I did, I did look as well. Uh, just try that. It's if you're not careful, these passages sound silly. Uh, it sounds you, you're left high and dry. We've had all this wonderful build-up of sound, and then nothing. Um, uh, what I wanted to, to mention was all of these passages, these linking passages, if you're not careful, uh, they, make it, make, they sound weak. You've got to do something. They've got to have great... Can I, can I sit down? Um, you've got to keep our attention and... and um, that yeah but somehow you've got to stage manage it you've got yeah it's got to be <gasps> you've got to all be listening yeah rather than saying 
first things come to an end, yeah? Uh, he, he, he writes, they're all over the place. Yeah, make sure we get that. I didn't when you played it. And it's my Whatever. Yeah? Anyway, we'll do that in a minute. What, what's going to happen now? Oh, yeah. Look, uh, Lento Asai. Uh, you, uh, you just sound undante to me. Mm Please, Ben, when you see in a Chakatora, don't make a horrible mess on it. What is that? Uh, yeah, there's loads of time. Try that pedal to there. And, and think big drama, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just one voice speaking to us. I don't think it's slow enough. Four and one and two and three and one. Now. You know, silence is one of the most wonderful gifts that composers give us. It, and at moments like this, it is so wonderful, yeah? So don't move your hands and don't fidget and don't cut the rest, yeah? It's great. <coughs> Same thing there. Do you agree with that? Think about it anyway, mm -hmm. okay? Don't be embarrassed by, by that sort of thing. Um, okay. Same. We get. We have it right. Let's go from here. Bum bum ba dum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Two three four. One two three four. One to the number. Yeah. You you rush that scale. Yeah, I wouldn't, you know, um, uh, deciso, and and it, it's sort of it's sort of a march of some sort, isn't it? Yeah, well, it just sounds as though they're slipping on banana skins. They all come marching in, you know, dum bum but a whoops, da, <laughs> yeah, whoops. <laughs> no, uh, look, he, you know, Liszt is a, a, a masterly composer. 
he, he, knows, he knows all about excitement and orchestral effects and the whole thing. He's dead clever. Um, he wouldn't have written that f group of five like that mm. if he hadn't meant it. Yeah, he could have written a faster scale or something, yeah? Dum, dum, ba dum, bum, dum, 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 ba, 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 bam, yeah? I would play really in tempo. Yeah, and start quieter. Um, that's it. Dum, bum, dum, bum, 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 Good. That sounded good. You see, he, he, he turns it into a group of six mm -hmm. uh, in the second line, yeah? So that you get a bit of brilliance there. Uh, it's, it's really good writing, that. And uh, don't uh, be careful of these alagandos in Liszt. Uh, it's a little bit like, um, they get to be a cliche. Um, but um, bum, three, four, one, two, three, yeah? Just keep going, yeah? Uh, it it's almost uh, sounds a little bit... Um, and and all of that dead in tempo, yeah, yeah. Um, do you, can you go from here? You've got great broken octaves. You've got great broken octaves, but they do sound a bit noty. So. They could sound a little bit more tenuto. They, they just sound a little bit rattled off. Mm -hmm. um, and keep them, keep them quiet. Yeah, what's happening in the left, I think, is probably, yeah? Oh. Oh, try. <laughs> Good. That sounds. I, I, I think I find that just sort of more noble as well. It's just strictly in tempo. Um, this sort of thing, I find it helps me if I practice just the uh, the, the the bare bones of the me melodic thing. <laughs> And then add the other stuff later. Yeah, same with all of that. Yeah, it must always be the most important thing. Here. <laughs> Don't let this sound, this uh, cantando sound, yeah, come too soon, yeah. 
and I don't play the piece, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm just reading, but, but all of these harmonies, yeah, terribly important, yeah? All these dissonances. Yeah, just go from here, can you? Passages. You've really got to. Um, you really got to help List at this moment. He's relying on a wonderful interpreter to get him from one section to another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how you uh, you know how you do it is is really important. Otherwise, it just sounds weak. You know. Oh, there he is twiddling his fingers again and just sitting. Oh well, you know. No, you've got you've got you've got to take us there. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get the, temp the the rhythm or the pulse uh, very clearly uh, in one or two places. Um, I can't think now where it was, and they're going to throw us out in a minute. Um, Let's do another bridge. Let's have a look at this one. Um, can you go from there? I, I think you ought to sound more desperate. Uh, and passion, impassioned and, and sort of something after all this. Um, if you're not careful, you, you sound a little bit like somebody s standing on the side of the stage saying, oh, well, not much happens around here, does it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've got to react to what mm -hmm. you've just done, yeah? Um, that sounds just too different, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, and then you can calm down and take us into that. Mm -hmm. Didn't you have another go? <laughs> yeah, I would come in straight away. The one, two, yeah. <laughs> There's the note where it turns. It's worth, worth thinking about. Um, you, do you play the sonata? I looked at it. Okay, <laughs> well, you know, the sonata is full of this sort of thing, and it's, yeah. it's very sad when, uh, when people let it go too soft and weak and, and, yeah? Lacking in character in these bridge passages, yeah? Um, I, would, I would, you see, he's written mezzo forte and crescendo. So there, that's really your big moment. Da da ya, da yum, paya. There's an accent on that. Mm -hmm. da, da da And then the silence, in which maybe you could say, well, the character sort of reflects. Well, maybe it's not quite so serious or something, you know, or whatever. It's. Um, 
It's important. And then you change your sound. That was very nice. Here, can I? Um, here, you, you've got you've got to get a deeper sound. Mm. Right through to the wood. Yeah. Yes. The greatest uh, singer, you know, the Placido Domingos and all of these people, you know, it's got to sound as good as that. Yeah, don't forget, with the male singer, he's gone very high there. ta da Yeah, give him a bit of time before that. Yeah, that's his great moment. Temple, because this is where I lost you. I'm not, yeah. Okay, I prefer that actually. If if you could if you could play the arpeggio things much quieter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In other words, don't bring in the big movement thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just very, very quietly in the background. Yeah. Don't. In other words, don't. Don't tell us that we're. It's all going to it's heat going up to and get it exactly. You know. We we sort of guess what's going to happen. But I would. I would keep that very. Uh, almost as quiet as you possibly can. It's spoiling the melody.
the last dissonance and then muffin. Yeah, uh, sometimes uh, I, I don't find you, you go into dissonances enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of his harmony, um, uh, just... Um, Exciting. And so on. Do you do you hold the pedal? Yeah, I would. I would. And uh them both and I'd keep the pedal, I wouldn't bother to change it. Don't clean it up. Oh. Because we've got the F sharp there. And leave it for a long time. Yeah? Like he says. Does that help a bit? Well, I've enjoyed. It's been a very nice morning for me.